Wow. The Larry King thing. I've been hearing. Yeah, here we go. I heard it. So Jerry Seinfeld was on Larry King promoting the B movie thing. His first real project in what? How, how, comedian. So it's called comedian. You're B right. movie. B movie. It's called B movie. And uh, yeah, I saw him doing one publicity thing where they had him up on a big crane harness and he was dressed in a big B suit. I was like, oh, Jerry, Jerry what's he doing? <laughs> I kind of like it, though. It's just silly. It is very silly. <laughs> He's a funny dude. Yeah. But uh, this thing, of course, an animated uh, feature will probably make a bloody fortune. Number two of the box I was behind American Gangster. Yeah. Was it really? Yes, I believe so. 39 mil. 39, 39 mil. And then these things in video just go ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of money. So, so it's not Larry Jerry. And, jury. and the big thing here is we've noticed that Larry King is pretty much clueless. Yeah. Well, he has, he has been, been for quite for, a while. For a long time. But most people don't talk about it. But now with this video that's all over YouTube and break and stuff, uh, I think a lot more people are going to be aware that Larry King is just ready for retirement. Yeah. Finally. And Jerry was having none of it. No, at least Jerry's like, he's not like a normal guest that goes on there and just, all right, Larry's senile or something. I'll just take it, plug my stuff and leave. Like, Jerry points these things out, which is great. And Larry's questions just suck. Larry sucks. I need a writer. You're an American gangster. Tell us about the movie. <laughs> Anyone could do that. Yeah. I thought he was on TV for 50 years because he had something, something different. Some interesting he questions it. that it's like, oh, wow, I never would have thought of that. But right. that's why he gets paid for what he does because he can come up with these interesting little tidbits. Right. Well, yeah. we've been making fun of Larry for a while. Well, let's uh, get right to the clip. Larry King asked why the movie took so long. Jerry points out he isn't listening, that Larry King isn't listening. Of course. Here we go. Finally, this movie. Well, you made it seem like you did the work. No, no, but four years? Gone with the Wind took three. Did I bother you? Was I bothering you? No. I bothered you a little bit. Yeah, okay. Why did it take so long? They're not very good at this. <laughs> they, the bees are not very No, the animation of people... I'm not kidding. It's, it's hard to make animated movies because they're basically puppet shows. It's a gigantic, insane puppet show. And every character has hundreds of controls. And you have to control them. And, you you know, in comedy, you've got to get the facial expressions just right. You'll see. See that look on his face? Get a shot of that. We worked it to get that exact look. That kind of, I'm listening, but I really, uh, I'm thinking about a bagel <laughs> look that you have. And they didn't get the shot. <laughs> <laughs> he just still doesn't get that he's being insulted. <laughs> they didn't get the shot. <laughs> Seinfeld, good for him. Yeah. Are you lucky, but you want a bagel. <laughs> uh, why does it take so long? He has no clue what goes behind making that. He thinks it's like the old Walt Disney Studios where they're drawing some like like uh, cartoon characters. It's all computerized. It's yeah. computer-based. And like uh, Jerry said, there are hundreds, at least, controls on every character to, to make those facial expressions. That's why they're so entertaining to watch. The movements and everything, the, the skin texture and the fur, things like that. Like, he doesn't understand that for, for a second of, of actual screen time, it's going to take d days. But someone that's been broadcasting for 50 years should understand this. When did he stop? He doesn't. When did he stop learning about he the, the new technology? Why would you say, <laughs> why did it take so long? I, why? You know, the Flintstones were on uh, every week. They pumped another episode out. Jerry, why your cartoon did it take so long? Answer me. Why don't you just have the same tree and couch go by a thousand times while they're running? Running in their house. Running in the house. Why was the Flintstones' house endless? Jerry, comment. <laughs> <laughs> How come Fred, when he ate, took a bite out of something and there was never more than one bite mark, no matter how much he ate? <laughs> Why would he order ribs that flipped his car over? Jerry, help me. Please comment. <laughs> Why didn't the dinosaur he rode just eat him? <laughs> uh, I remember dinosaurs. They never acted that way. You couldn't put a little house on the back and make them carry rocks. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> All right, here we so, go. We're leading up to the clip that everyone's uh, been checking out. But first, Seinfeld explains why he likes bees. Larry points out they sting people. Seinfeld then explains uh, that's self-defense. Larry follows up by asking if Seinfeld will do another movie. 
right? They look down on the other insects. They deal with honey and flowers. It's a very sophisticated life. But they sting people. Well, you know, you got to protect yourself. Oh, that's right. You know, every, every, every animal in nature has a form of self-defense or you won't survive. Will you do another movie? Who's asking? Me. For you? No. No, I never asked for me. <laughs> for a major studio, perhaps. No, I don't know. I have no I never plan anything in my career. <laughs> that's great. For you, no. Good for, good for Jerry, Jerry, He's though. so snotty, oh, isn't he? He is. Yeah. He's, he's, well, he's irritated. He's probably irritated. He's he, he, he dying is. moron. He's asking awful questions. He is irritated. Yeah, he's finally doing like a major TV appearance on CNN. And, oh, and he's, I don't want to do Larry he's King. He's being asked dumb questions well, he that, that any college kid in broadcasting could have asked oh. Jerry. He picks and chooses what interviews he does. Oh, well, absolutely. He chose this one. And stupid Larry King and his dumb backdrop. He's done light, bright. Backdrop. My light, bright backdrop. It's called B Movie. This is what Larry says. That was B, the B Movie opens tomorrow the everywhere. Um, it, when you're doing stand up, oh, no. you know reaction right away. They laugh or they don't. Mm -hmm. right. How do you know? How do you get reaction from an animated movie when you're sitting sometimes, in a sound stage? Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have to guess. Sometimes you just have to throw a dart in the dark and hope you hit something. Uh, what, what did you hit? The 20 or the bullseye? You're talking darts. No, it's like kind of a metaphor thing. What is that, a metaphor? Shut up, you old fool. <laughs> just sits there babbling these dopey questions. And Jerry ain't, yeah, Jerry, thank God he ain't taking it. The B movie, isn't it just B movie? Yeah. yeah. The B movie opens tomorrow. <laughs> the B movie. The B movie. The B movie. What's it about? And don't forget, do I have to remind you? The B movie opens tomorrow. All right, Go we away. get it. <laughs> all right, and here's the clip that uh, is all over the internet. Jerry's insulted that Larry King asked if his show was canceled. Uh -huh. This is Larry King. He's been in broadcasting for 50 years. How does he not know anything about Seinfeld? How do you not know that uh, Jerry left on his own terms? How do you not know what? They offered him some like $5 million. Oh, the show so was huge. To continue, and, and Jerry said no. It was huge headlines. People were like, I cannot believe he turned down that money uh, to, you know, to do other episodes. He decided to leave it where it was at. Lasted how long? Nine years. 180 episodes. You gave it up, right? I did. So. They didn't cancel you. You canceled them. You're not aware of this? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you're, you're not aware of this? <laughs> I read a lot of comments over the oh, weekend. Oh, is that great? And people thought that Jerry was just playing with Larry. No, he was annoyed. Like, you're not aware? It's true. It's like, wait, you're not aware of this? Like, well, everybody in, knows that Jerry Seinfeld's show wasn't canceled. He's looking to see if he's on CNN, that maybe he went into the wrong studio. Larry King, like, wasn't really sure if uh, he was canceled or not. They had a huge build-up to the final episode. It was, uh, you know, I, I, it was a success. Well, like I've told you, since I know Jerry. Yes. Not he you. Is brutally honest. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think Seinfeld could lie. He just he's it seems to me to be irritated with Larry King and he's just addressing it. He's like a robot, Seinfeld. <laughs> I mean, he's probably at home like a big submissive. Like he probably has all these like you know warm and and kinky things he likes. But he's very very robotic in the sense that he just says whatever he wants to say without considering the fact that there's a cadaver across from him <laughs> who's not even talking. Speaking of puppets, you're talking to one, Jerry. <laughs> Don't you know that? It's like puppets. <laughs> Lasted how long? Nine years. 180 episodes. You gave it up, right? I did. So. They didn't cancel you. You canceled them. <laughs> You're not aware of this? No, I'm, I'm asking you. You think I got canceled? Are you under the impression I, that I, I got canceled? You, I hurt you, Jerry? I thought don't, that was pretty well documented. Don't this most a, shows is this still down, CNN? Don't most shows go down a little? Most people do also. You would, but, oh, what did he say, most oh. most shows? He goes, doesn't it go down a little bit? I guess he's trying to talk about the like now he's trying to defend himself. Like the, yeah, yeah, go down a little bit, and then Jerry basically said most uh, people, most do people, too. meaning Larry, you've lost it a little bit. Shows Is this still down. CNN? Don't most shows go down a little? Most people do also. You would, but <laughs> <laughs> Larry oh. had no idea. He had no idea how to react to it. No, he had no idea what Jerry said to him.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think uh, Larry King's a hard. He used to be known as a really good listener in interviews. I don't think he listens anymore. No, Jerry, not at all. Jerry basically says you got Alzheimer's, buddy, and then Larry just he <laughs> didn't uh -huh. really hear him. Joe Listen again. CNN. Don't most shows go down a little? Most people do also. You would, but <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, what, no, what did he say? Up, yeah, I was the number one show on television, Larry. You were. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Jewish guy, Brooklyn. Yes. Okay. Long Island. Five million viewers. <sighs> okay. Last episode. Were you? What? Long Island. Oh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. What? Brooklyn, the old neighborhood. Right. Shut up. Most people know he's from Long Island too. A lot of great comedians came from Long Island. They did, yes. Jewish guy, Brooklyn. Yes. Okay. 75 million viewers. Last okay. episode. Were you? Don't take like it so canceled. bad. Well, that's a, the big difference between being canceled and being number one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that does say it all. <laughs> it certainly is a big difference. Because yeah, stupid liars like, don't take it so seriously. It's like, well, but no. you should. Why would he want people to think that he got canceled? Don't take like it so canceled. bad. Well, that's a, the big difference between being canceled and being number one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it certainly is. We'll be right back. Jeez. B-movie open. <laughs> B-movie open. Can get a resume in here for B -movie me? B-movie open. <laughs> <Tomorrow>. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> that's great. Larry didn't do his homework. Nope. He does. How do you not do your homework on Seinfeld? Like, you should know enough just about popular culture. Yeah. And Jason Itzler was on one of our favorite TV shows last night, Larry King. At the, what, under what circumstances, Jason, did you first connect with her? Um, I was uh, checking into the Gans Award Hotel, probably with Natalia at the time. Uh, <laughs> Natalia, Natalia would be uh, Jimmy's broad. <laughs> we, was it? She, yeah. she came in here and, uh, yeah. Yeah, Natalia. Yeah. We know Natalia pretty well. What'd she, she made What'd numerous she appearances on this radio show. What she did, and Jimmy made a fine appearance right on top of her <laughs> <laughs> on the show. No, 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 no. Afterwards, but she was in here many, many times. She loved what she did. Now, probably with Natalia at the time. Um, in 2004, um, usually the rooms are ready when you check in. In this circumstance, they were not ready. So I sat down on the couch, I look up, there's a gorgeous brunette um, smiling at me. Um, I was captivated, uh, thought she might be hitting on me, she wasn't, she asked me if I wanted a drink. Um, turns out she was a greeter slash cocktail waitress at the Gans Board Hotel, which if people don't know is a super hip, trendy boutique hotel in Manhattan, my favorite hotel in Manhattan. It's a very, 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 very fancy place uh, down there in the meatpacking district. That's a place to be seen in uh, in uh, good old New York City. Have you been there? Yeah, I went there once. It's uh, they have an awesome rooftop like bar area. That's amazing. Yeah, mm. I don't get invited to those things. And then, <laughs> and then Jason Isler uh, continued. How uh, successful was she when she went to work for you? How successful was she at what she did? As a whore. Um. <laughs> How successful of a whore hose bag was she? How important is oral <laughs> when you're going to be a whore? <laughs> He's just the worst. What the hell did he just say? How successful was she when she... How successful was she? How successful? I mean, and by successful, I mean how many miles of <laughs> did she take? I'm talking miles. <laughs> if you can string them all together. Yeah. In your estimation, how many gallons of <laughs> Yeah. Did she collect <laughs> in her time with you? Did she make actually make her breath better with garlic? <laughs> Question. Answer, please. I need to know. I'm horny. <laughs> my suspenders are getting tight with this story. My head's going to fall off. Ow, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> Someone loosen Larry's suspenders. <laughs> I need a garlic suppository. <laughs> uh, would she do a prostate exam? Question, answer, please. Chicago, you're on the air. <laughs> How uh, successful was she when she went to work for you? How successful was she at what she did? Um, what? what? 
That could be the dumbest question to ask uh, uh, a pimp. Of course. Well, actually, Larry, she sat on the couch for months at a time waiting for someone to pick her. Not very successful. It was uh, hard to uh, really, uh, for her to catch on. Right. How good was she? How good was she at what she did? Would she use all three inputs? <laughs> I almost said I'm a, I don't have a button, and I almost messed up. I what do you need? Like, just ah, I'm you done. Just, no, see, we can just do this when you're ready. <laughs> Not all right. Nothing. I went to push a button, though. I went. How good successful right, right. was she at? Larry makes seven million dollars a year to ask dumb questions like. That. Was she a good girl? Would she work even if the sheets looked like it had Welch's grape juice <laughs> spilt on him in the morning? Would she still work? Because that's a good girl. Answer, please. <laughs> we didn't call the new governor James Patterson. We know that's the author. James Patterson, you're on the air. It's uh, David Patterson. We know that. Stop blinking. Use some Visine. What's the matter with you? You got something in your eye? <laughs> this guy won't look me in the Jeez. eyes. He has no respect. <laughs> What's that, an eyelash in both eyes? You're blinking like crazy. You look like Norton when he's mad. <laughs> what am I boring you? Can't keep, can't keep awake. Wake up! Right. What are you, Anthony, on the show after a night out? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Than, after moving? <laughs> uh, what are you, E Rock, every day? <laughs> <laughs> Figuratively speaking, question, answer, comment, Chicago. How uh, successful was she when she went to work for you? How successful was she at what she did? Um, I don't think we should jump there yet. I, I met her. She offered me a drink. I thought she's beautiful. And uh, I didn't want her to be an escort in New York Confidential. I actually wanted to go on a date with her. She, she was breathtaking. So I gave her my business card, which is a titanium New York Confidential card at the time. And I was hoping that she wouldn't look up the website and find out that I ran an escort agency. I was hoping that uh, she'd be impressed by my card and just call me. Breathtaking. I had my breath taken away once. It was called a heart attack. <laughs> I've had a couple of them. Question. Cardiologist, comment, Denver, you're on. Here's a question. Has Larry King had... <laughs> Has he had more wives or heart attacks? Does anyone know the answer to that? Uh, I seem to have one with each wife. I know he's been married at least five or six times, and I think his heart attacks are up to that uh, <laughs> that total as well. I need more garlic. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, he always makes that face now because I think his, his teeth are coming out during the show. <laughs> oh, I know. You hear his dent just <laughs> popping in his mouth. So he, he actually tilts his head forward and then... And like pushes his teeth back in <laughs> and, and wrinkles his nose up. Oh, oh. Man. I wish I wish this was TV. That's a great face, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> I need some effortant. It gets out the Welch's grape juice stains. You mind if I just pop my teeth out and put them on the desk while we chat? <laughs> Impressed by my card and just call me. I get a phone call two days later. Um, Hi, Jason. This is Ashley from the Gansaboard Hotel. Do you remember me? I said, of course. Uh, she said, I want to work for you. And I, I laughed hysterically. I laughed and I said, do you know what I do? And she said, of course I know what you do. I went to your website. And I said, get over here right now. Uh, she came over to New York Confidential. I introduced her to Natalia. And um, we knew that we had found out. I told you we have a connection to this story. <laughs> Natalia. He's skipping a big part of the story. No kidding. He banged her once. Get over here right now. I introduced her to Natalia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Here's I, Natalia. Here's me, you, and Natalia in bed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Betsy. You got to take her for Coke. My mother. You got to take her for a test drive before she put her out there on the lot. How important was Natalia's ass in procuring this new whore? <laughs> How do you get a new whore? Do you buy them like the old slave days? Did you check her teeth? <laughs> Did you... Did you have to? Did you trade her for a bale of hay? <laughs> yeah. How did you get her? What did she run you? How much is a whore these days? I remember in the old days I could get a, a heavy sex session with <laughs> jays and everything for a, a half a saw buck. We used to call it back when we dressed like the little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I, t- I told Danny to just give us a little piece of this. Danny, now you got to get more of Larry King on here. <laughs> I hate Larry. Larry King asking Such questions a to a pimp could be some of the best stuff ever. <laughs> yeah, and um, we knew that we had found a, a rock star escort when, when we met Ashley. And I'm sorry, and how, you, Larry. Okay, how well did she do? <laughs> what do you think a rock star means, you idiot? How well did she do? Would she <laughs> your... Would she tickle your <laughs> while she <laughs> your <laughs> on your in your? Let's say I was uh, her. Could I <laughs> in her <laughs> while she <laughs> my <laughs> and then <laughs> on the curtains? <laughs> <laughs> oh just oh, God! Just give your seat to Anderson know. Cooper already. What are you waiting for? Oh. Would she? Me for a pair of silk stockings. <laughs> Actually, we don't want Larry King to retire because then we have oh. less stuff to talk about on this dopey show. You know, the, the governor of New York, the new blind guy, he looks like Gabe Carter. Gabe Carter? Yeah. Carter? Yeah, Carter, whatever his friend. Gabe Kaplan? Kaplan, that or guy. Or Mr. Carter? Carter, Carter you go. You're just like... <laughs> I just saw him... Who's that, <laughs> Arnold Barbarino? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what are you going to do? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> it was coming so much. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Blinky. Governor Blinky. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to get me in trouble? Sexual harassment? He's winking at all the girls two eyes at a time. Gonna get me fired. He's trying to hypnotize me. Look. I know you people have a strong libido, but you're ridiculous. One girl at a time, for God's sake. <laughs> Our escort when, when we met Ashley. And I'm sorry, and how, you, Larry. Okay, how well did she do? She was spectacular. In my opinion, she was the hottest, mm-hmm. sexiest escort New York Confidential ever had. Natalia was the best escort uh, the world has ever had. Uh, for the category of sexy and hot, this girl took the cake. This is the ultimate girl next door. So you're saying she's the Michael Jordan of <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> she's the Tom Brady of job. <laughs> What's wrong with you? She's the Tiger Woods of <laughs> sex. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Get us more Larry King. <laughs> Booby Man. Uh, Larry I can't rules. do Larry's voice, obviously. It's Anthony, Anthony's thing, but I'll try uh, Booby Man from Brooklyn. Uh did she tickle your bibby? <laughs> what did he say, bibby? Bibby. The huh? bippy. I think a lot more people are catching on to the fact that Larry King uh, has run his course, I think. He's just an old, doddering fool now. He has no relevance. He can't interview anybody because he, he he's he's lost. Well, he was one of the greatest interviewers ever. He was very uh, interesting to watch over the years because he just made it effortless. But something's going on with CNN where they want him to do more pop culture stuff and get more involved with these with these pop icons. Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, and, and it's just it's just not working because everyone no. knows he's got to be pushing 80, 80 at this point. I saw a video on YouTube where he's uh, uh, doing a, like a dance thing with Janet Jackson. It was so awkward to see. It's so uh, painful to watch. She's trying to teach him these dance steps, and he's incapable of doing anything, taking any kind of direction uh, from her, and he just comes off like, an old grandpa. And he's wearing suspenders with jeans now, and that just never works. Suspenders pull your jeans or whatever pants you're wearing up way too high. So now he's got, like, flood pants. You but see, that's how his see. age, you know, they, they wear their pants like that. But also the suspenders, because he's an old man, pushes his whole, like, head and shoulders forward. It pulls him down to it me. It pulls he him down a little bit. His weak back can't even <laughs> yeah. compensate for the elastic and the suspenders. That's what I'm getting at, right. I need elasticless suspenders. And it's not cute. Just get me some ribbon with clips. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not It's not cute with Janet Jackson. Just It just looks awkward. It's not It's not funny. It just, I don't know. It looks really just uncomfortable for everybody. She's I snapped it. a hip. 
What do I do? Stop the hit. The hip. He didn't even move during this whole like dance thing that Jan Jackson's trying to do for him. But that's not the one everyone's talking about today. It's uh, Larry King. He gets confused when Fran Drescher starts speaking Spanish. I guess yeah. Fran Drescher went on. Meh. And who was she supporting? I don't even know. Hillary. Hillary. She was supporting She's a Hillary. Big Hillary supporter. And decided to do a little something in Spanish for all the Spanish people that might be watching. Larry Give a little King. message. Yeah. How big is Larry with the uh, Spanish community? And. Uh, Aren't they already getting the message? Uh, they look on the TV guide and they think it says Latin King, and they turn <laughs> it on and say, "Why is this old man on the screen?" <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble. So this is how it went down. Larry. Yes, Frank. Larry. <laughs> I just want to say, <laughs> la niñera gusto mucho Hillary Clinton. Es la solución de los problemas de emigración oh, y para evitar um, mm. el, el abuso de What las mujeres. <laughs> I'm speaking to the Latino community. Oh, okay. <laughs> See? Okay. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. She's speaking in tongues, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to get, a, get an exorcist in for Fran Drescher. She's speaking in tongues. <laughs> you dummy. What are you doing? So she very simply, I guess, was saying uh, that she likes Hillary Clinton. And what she stands for. And she's for the solution for the problems blah, blah, of immigration. Blah, blah. Yeah. And uh, I didn't catch the last part, but I'm sure it's pretty easily speaking translated. Speaking to the Latino community. Oh, okay. <laughs> See? Okay. Wait a Say it with me. All right. Welcome back to Telemundo. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's like every word you said meant something else. <laughs> Those Spanish, it's like they have a different word for everything. It's like there's actually another language out there. Or I don't something. understand it. I don't think it'll catch on. <laughs> kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Why? That she decided to speak in Spanish? Uh, in this day and age, oh, is he just an? He's a dolt. And I think it's beautiful that 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 uh, shrew Ugh. is out sh is shilling for Hillary. Another shrew. It's yeah. just perfect. Larry, I'm gonna talk in Spanish. I don't care. How's the Italian food here? <laughs> Godfather reference. Uh, we know. <laughs> we better know at this point. <laughs> it's only used every week on this show in one uh. form or another. <laughs> and all he could say is, welcome back to Telemundo. Yeah. Uh. Welcome back to Telemundo. You want to hear the Janet Jackson? I don't know if this and is... And she's all... Uh, well, uh, Rosie O'Donnell's mad at him because of that. Why? That Why? Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, he, she felt that he was kind of bashing um, the fact that uh, she was pitching for Hillary during that. He, how was he bashing her? I know. He just kind of was like, hey, you know. I mean, he made. What does that mean? He had no idea what that meant, and he was I trying don't know. to come up with some dumb joke. And yeah, Taco Bell Grande, I could speak another language, uh, French, garlic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's the worst. Rosie what? O'Donnell's just trying to make fights now to kind of get popular. When did she become so like? When did she become such a cornball and so like? Yeah. And so completely irrelevant and out of touch with the way everybody's thinking. She's just a self Yeah, she's group. another one. Just just nothing left there. No one wants to see her anymore on a talk show. She's too, she's gotten so too political it overshadowed any humor that she had. Some people do that sometimes. God, you don't have any sense of humor left. Everything depresses her. You read her stupid blog on her page. It's all just what's scaring the crap out of her. How depressed she is. She's looking more and more again. like Kathy Bates every day. Oh, you know, my God. With the crazy eyes. Look at that picture of uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're doing a visual on the radio. Hobbling again. her children. <laughs> yeah. There's a, 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 a beautiful blonde little girl with blue eyes, and Rosie's depressed as hell in the same picture. Yeah. Uh, here's Larry King and Janet Jackson uh, doing a... I don't know. If, I don't know. Let's see what this mm -hmm. uh, sounds like. Okay, Janet. Show me a trick. Show, show you a trick. trick. Show me a trick. Show me a trick. Pull a rabbit out of a hat. <laughs> Go me, ahead. Show me a trick. Show me a trick. How come you look more like a <laughs> than your brother? <laughs> I don't know. In the old days, we could say <laughs> and it wasn't a problem. So, 
Show me a trick. <laughs> okay, Janet. Show me a trick. Should I show you a do trick? You want... No, do, do some. I'm supposed to show you. Okay, go. Okay. Put this hand across here. And you're going to push out that way. But let me get away with this before you push. don't hit me. I don't know what I'm doing. You're going to take this arm and you're going to bring it out this way, like that. And when you do that, you're going to move this leg out. You're going to move it out that way. Put this in. <laughs> Come across your body. <laughs> Wait. Dance, no. dance. No, no, put this, relax this way. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Do a trick. Make melanin disappear. Come on, that's a good trick. Only you could do it. <laughs> a trick. Bring this one across your chest. What is this dance called? This is the dance in the video. Is this the Watusi? <laughs> What kind of dance is this? Do you know the twist? <laughs> he just needs to know what's this dance called. He needs to. He needs a name for a dance. That's how irrelevant this guy is. What is it? I, the boogaloo. Let's do the hucklebuck. Bring this one across your chest. I wish she would have taught him the John what is this dance called. <laughs> it's just the dance in the video. The dance of the video. Yes. This is not what it's called, but that's the... Wait, no, you're not hugging yourself, Larry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Let me watch you. No, you don't Let want to watch you. Let me watch you, and maybe I'll get an idea. The dance of the... <laughs> where Where's the part where you pick my pocket? <laughs> you see? Okay, this. this, hit your chest, and push your arm out. Come here. Let's do this. You sure Gene Kelly started this way? Gene Kelly. AC360 is next with Anderson Cooper. Anderson, dance the night away. <laughs> I hate to interrupt. Uh, Larry. Yeah. yeah, I bet he does. I hate to have to come in and uh, deal with that as my lead-in. Well, Anderson's uh, sitting by going, wow, it's going to be any day now that they give me the big promotion. Oh, they can't got to get rid of that with guy. With crap like that on TV. Let's dance. You guys making, what, $7 million a year to do that on uh, on TV. So Watch, uh, Janet, I'm going to do the jitterbug. Here we go. Grab your kneecaps until they pop off. <laughs> Someone's suggesting the bleep game with that audio. Oh. Could be uh, something to look into there. We'll, we'll take a look. That's more my music. You know, before you <laughs> took over dancing, it was white people that would dance. We'd go to the ballrooms. And it would be a nickel a dance with one of the girls uh, that are uh, against the wall. And they'd dance with you. Unless they were a butt ugly, then you wouldn't go near them. And we would do the Charleston and the Lindy Hop and the Swim. The Swim? Yes. What's the Swim? That's where you act like you're swimming. That was a popular one with Shatner's wife. <laughs> What's this one called? The <laughs> Bug? Oh, Jitterbug. I was reading it wrong. <laughs> uh, what about the new ones like the Funky Chicken and the Hustle? I want to do the Running Man. That's where I start running and three steps, I hold my chest and my arm tingles and goes numb. 